For Crema Media TV, I'm Sasha Lee Solomons. Joining me today is Seniors Regional Managing Director Sia Bonga Mbanjwa, and we will be discussing the company's experience, importance, and contribution to concentrated solar power. Hello, Sia Bonga. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. My first question for you today is what is the importance of concentrated solar power? Concentrated solar power is one of the renewable energy sources. So firstly, it comes from a free source, which is the sun, as we know is available for most days of the year. Um, secondly, it's clean, you know, unlike some of the fossil fuels, uh, it's a clean source of energy. But probably most importantly about concentrated solar power, but particularly the concentrated solar power that we are involved in and that we are leaders in uh, throughout the world, is the fact that you are actually able to store the energy um, that you are able to, to obtain from the sun during the day. And that enables you to be able to continue producing electricity even after hours, even when the sun is down. And we are then able to also dispatch that uh, electricity to our utility ESCOM as and when they're required, particularly in the evenings. You know, in the afternoons, the sun goes down. Uh, when everyone gets back home and they put on their kettle and they put on um, their stoves and they take uh, a bath and so forth, that's when energy demand quickly shoots up. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the challenges that our utility ESCOM has been having is the fact that you might find that um, demand out outstrips supply. Uh, with a technology like concentrated solar power, uh, we are also able to contribute towards the energy that ESCOM requires at that point in time. So I think that is the big and very fundamental difference between concentrated solar power and other renewable energy sources, but also the difference with uh, fossil fuels um, as well. My next question is, what is Sina's role and contribution to projects that the company has undertaken? Okay, uh, Sena is a, is a global engineering and technology group. Uh, we participate, for example, in aerospace, in marine, in power, oil, and gas, um, and as well as infrastructure and transport. So within the power, oil, and gas space, uh, we've identified that concentrated solar power is the area that we want to really become leaders in, and we've become that because we've participated in over 29 plants um, throughout the world, which is at least 50% uh, of the plants that have been built out there. Um, so our contribution, firstly, is in terms of developing the technology. So mm -hmm. we are, we've been developing technology over time. So the technology that we develop, we've been able to basically implement and install onto our projects. Uh, secondly, we obviously are, are, are acting as, uh, as engineers and designers on these projects. Um, I think over the years we've also realized that it actually makes a lot more sense to be able to provide our clients with turnkey solutions where we are able to provide engineering, procurement and construction uh, services, but we can also play a role as, uh, as an IPP. So if you take some of the projects that we've done, such as Bokport, the 50 megawatt CSP plant uh, near Hrobler's Warp in the Northern Cape, if you take uh, the Ilanga project that we've done, um, near Uppington, which is 100 megawatts, as well as the Katu uh, project in Sishin, which is about 100 megawatts. They're all parabolic trough uh, technologies. All of them are Sene designs. They are all Sene uh, technologies that have been utilized on those projects. But we've also participated as EPC contractors. So we've partnered with, uh, with other companies and we've formed what we call an EPC contractor on that project. So that's been our contribution uh, thus far. And my final question then is, what is the future plans of Sina? Well, we are in South Africa to stay. Uh, we are very encouraged by the IPP programs that have been initiated by the Department of Energy, particularly uh, on the renewable side. And we now see that uh, on the gas side, things are also starting to move. So, you know, we've got an integrated resource plan that has been developed uh, by the country. And that plan is very bold and very clear that by the year 2030, we need to have at least 17,800 megawatts uh, out of uh, renewables, for example. A significant part of that needs to be from concentrated solar power. So we would like to contribute quite significantly in terms of ensuring that the, the targets that have been set by 
uh, by the country are indeed mm -hmm. met by 2030. So we would like Senair to be in the leadership position in terms of that. Uh, we've already submitted a number of projects, for example, the 100 megawatt CSP plant that ESCOM uh, has planned for Uppington. Uh, we've also got three other projects uh, that we've, uh, we've submitted as part of round uh, four and a half. Those 150 megawatt plants each um, times three. Uh, but what is probably slightly different with the way we see the future is that we see the future being in tower CSP as opposed to the parabolic trough, which is the curved mirrors. Mm -hmm. uh, the tower is a lot more efficient, and we think that it has the best opportunity for us to be able to reduce costs uh, for our clients ultimately, because cost is obviously a, a big factor. What you found is that from where we were back in 2011, costs have been uh, drastically reducing uh, in terms of renewable energy, but you know, we would like that to drop even further. So mm -hmm. we see the tower technology being key in terms of doing that. So, so we are working very hard to ensure that uh, we have a tower that is built but it's important that that tower has storage, decent storage capacity, and that it uses molten salt for basically storage as well as a heat, tra as a heat transfer fluid. Mm, thank you so much. No, thank you. That was Mr. Sia Bonga Mbanjwa.